Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be so special because I have a beautiful, amazing, inspiring, special guest. She is an actor, she's a businesswoman and leader. She is a social media star and queen. I'm here with Jessica Alba. Hi. Hi. And today we're gonna show you guys how to get our beautiful fall look. Something you can wear throughout the day or for Thanksgiving. So a really easy fall look. We actually did a video preparing our skin, doing like a facial from home. And that video is on Jessica's channel. So if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna link it down below. And yeah, let's get to it. This fall makeup with Cami and Jessica. All right, so let's get to it. I'm actually curious to see what Jessica is gonna come up with, what her fall look is gonna be like. Should we do skin first or eyes, Jessica? I think we should do eyes because we're gonna do a fall look and we're gonna do like a quick fall smoke. What I think is so great about this look is it looks great on everyone and you're not committing to like a full on like dramatic smoky eye. I'm gonna use neutral colors. It's gonna look amazing on everyone. Every eye shape. That's a good thing about smoky eye. Every eye shape accepts it. First, I'm actually gonna use the Honest Bright Eyes because I'm gonna do an eye patch. Yeah, so we're gonna put a couple dots of the Honest Bright Eyes. And what's nice about this is we have two different shades. It is a moisturizer with a little bit of pigment, so it really counters any kind of blueness that you might get. You can wear it without makeup when you just wanna have that true, like, clean skin no makeup vibe, but I love it as a first step before I apply my makeup. This product is genius because it does really cancel out, you know, the blueness, like tiredness in your eye. I feel like people are going to bed so late during the pandemic. And then if you're a parent, you aren't getting sleep like me. So it's nice to be able to have something that can conceal the fact that you just simply aren't sleeping that well. Exactly. And we're gonna do an eye patch on top of this so that our eye air is really moisture and taken care of while we do our eyeshadow. So you guys, our skin is prepped and the video, the full video of us getting a facial is on Jessica's channel. The link is right down below, so go watch it. We talked about a bunch of different things. It was so nice. I'm gonna put my little gold mask here and I'm gonna start on eyes. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of the matte primer. And what's nice about this is it just gives you that good sort of blurring canvas, but it's especially good for the eyelid when you're doing an eye to get the product to just kind of last longer. Eye primer is important to keep your shadow, especially if you're using your makeup throughout the whole day, you wanna have a primer just to secure it all in. I love fall. What's your favorite season of the year, Jessica? I actually love all the transitions. So I love fall, I love spring, and winter and summer. I like those transition when you're like, oh my gosh, today really feels like fall or today really feels like winter or today really feels like summer. Yeah, I actually miss Boston a little bit because of that. I used to see the real transitions like the seasons. Like in LA, I feel like it's either like spring, summer or fall. I don't feel like it's really, because I don't see the snow, but. It's not a lot of fall. It's like fall-ish and then rain and then back to summer. So I'm using the Ella Luz Brazilian Goddess palette, which has neutral tones, matte finish and shimmery. Just like you, I have a light and a dark base and then I have some shimmers in there and some neutral tones and some matte, a nice mix. So I'm gonna start with the base with like a warm brown and a blending brush on the outside of my eyes. All right, I'm gonna do the same. And we wanna make sure this is easy, fast. So the blending brush will help you guys just blend this all in and start from the outer corner so the color concentrates there and then you just blend everything else inwards. And another interesting thing here is that, you know, before I knew anything about putting shadow on myself because makeup artists always did my eye makeup, just going like right into that crease and because the brush is fluffy, it will really give your eye that sort of bigger yeah, eye look. Yeah, it'll create that depth, especially depth, depth. My English, depth. 
you'll create depth. <laughs> so you, you can do your own makeup, right? Of course, we're doing it now. But what's your favorite part of makeup? Like, is it doing eyes? Is it lips, skin? I would say I'm a skin person. I love skin. I think that's also the hardest. It's like, it takes me all day to look like I'm not wearing makeup. So next I'm gonna go in with an ivory. Yeah, I'm the same. I love doing eyes and I, you know, when I started doing like videos and stuff, I was always focused on eyes and like these big, like dramatic eyes, but I feel like you can have the most beautiful eye makeup on, but if your skin is off and not well, like covered or like in the certain areas, it's you know, or not blended, is not, yeah, or not blended, it's not gonna look good. So I always concentrate most of my time on the skin as well. So one little trick for you guys here with a very dense brush, gonna be very controlled with a brush like this. I'm gonna get two darker, warmer colors, these two, and you're gonna basically smudge it under the eye and then pull it out in the same straight line. So that will create kind of like a liner. It will pull your eyes to the side, which will make you look more lifted, okay? So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm gonna do that too. And then I come with a more fluffy brush and just blend this in so it's smoky. So I'm gonna do that same thing and I'm gonna do, use like a gold shimmer mixed with a little bit deeper brown. Love it. So fall, I either love, like my two go-to fall looks are like these like earth tones, smoky eye, or like a bold lip with bare eyes. Oh yeah, I love that too. Do you like bold lip colors? It took me a while to even like my lips because I got made fun of so much as a kid. I have so many pictures of me when I was little and I mean, my lips were even bigger. Can you imagine they like took over half my face when I was little? But as I got older, I started to embrace wearing a bold lip and now I'm cool with it, but it did take me a while. Really? Well, it's a great problem to have today. But it's like, you know, it, I was I was happy with it when I was like little, little, and I wanted to be like my grandma, but then when kids started making fun of me. <laughs> me and you wanted to be like our grandmas. We talked about that, you guys, on Jessica's video when we're doing facial. I'm actually gonna take this gold color and with a fluffy brush, just kind of bring it over my lid as well. Look at her, such a pro. <laughs> Not really. What I love about this trick of us wearing the eye mask underneath is if, you know, if you're like me and you're not that skilled at eyes, your fallout can just go right on the eye mask. No, it's actually an amazing trick, you guys. It's, it's like fallout, it's, it's always gonna happen. So either if you have your face already on, like if you have your foundation stuff on, do the loose powder under so that you can just like, you know, take it off easily. But, you know, doing your eyes first is always easier. So the eye patch is great. So I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil and just fill in a little bit. Ooh, she's going faster than me, you guys. This is becoming a competition now. Who does it faster? Is it Jessica <laughs> or Camila? Well, yours is gonna look a lot better. <laughs> I'm um, doing gold now on the inner eye for a little touch of light, open my eye a little bit, and then I'll move to brows because this woman is ahead of me. So I have the Honest Eyebrow Pencil and I'm using it in color taupe just to define my brow, fill it in. And I love how matte this is. Yeah, and what I love about it is that it does have that spoolie so you can just easily brush as you fill it in, makes it look more natural. Yeah, I cannot do like fill in my brows without brushing it. I like fill it in, brush, fill it in, brush. And when you brush it, you kind of make it look more natural. Jessica, did you learn how to do your makeup on your own or are you always like, I know, you know, since you're younger, you're probably getting makeup done and glam done. My mom actually went to cosmetology school when I was little, so she was always doing hair and makeup. Like, that's how we bonded. So she really introduced me to beauty and got me to really fall in love with it. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liner. Oh, I'm going with the liner too. So basically here, you guys can see up close, I just pulled the same line that I did with the shadow help, will help you out because you already have that line there, but I'm just like, making it darker with a liquid liner. And this is the liquid eyeliner from Honest. So I just pulled it like there. 
So from far away, you look super lifted and it'll almost be like from far, like it will look like you're, it's part of her eyelashes too. This is such a nice little trick because you're not doing a full cat eye, but you're just doing like a nice little flick at the end. So now I'm gonna move on to mascara. Ooh, look at this mascara, you guys. I'm doing it on the right too. Yeah, what's nice about the mascara is that it's a clean formula, but it actually really works. And you have the primer right there on the component. What are three products you can't live without? You know, to live with every day, put on your face, like makeup, not skincare, just makeup. I would say concealer, like a lip and cheek kind of thing, something that can work for both, and mascara. Same. It's like, I, I honestly, it's the same for me. Also with concealer, if you have a good concealer, especially like serum concealers or any, you can put it through on your whole face, right? So I need that. And mascara, just lift your eye up and something on my lips always. I need something on my lips. Like I cannot leave the house without. I'm gonna take my eye mask off because I'm done with eyes. I think when your lips take up so much of your face, it's so apparent when they're crusty <laughs> and, <laughs> and you look a hot mess. <laughs> It's like people can't help but look at it. And I'm, I'm always self-conscious when I have like, you know, gross, cracked, flaky lips. <laughs> it's so true, it bothers me so much. I'm gonna do last part, just a little bit of the shimmery here on the top of the lid. I'm done. Is my eye too heavy? <laughs> now I'm like, hmm. Well, it's like, think of like the holidays. Yeah, I'm thinking of already like Thanksgiving, yeah. And I'm wearing like this burgundy color. I, I love wearing these colors for Thanksgiving. Such a great time of the year. It's my favorite holiday. The food is just, mm, yum. Do you cook, Jessica? I do, yeah. Do you mix in like Brazilian food, like American Thanksgiving traditional dishes, or do you just do Brazilian or just American? So my mom, she's usually the big cook for Thanksgiving. She loves cooking and she does mainly like more American version. Like she does the turkey, the gravy and the mashed potatoes and the sweet potato mash. But then she always does like this pork meat called pernil, which goes in the oven just like the turkey it's amazing it's yummy and we do like the farofa which is like a brazilian version of the stuffing so yeah we do like a mix you know what are you famous for cooking like what do you bring to thanksgiving well i always do my brazilian pão de queijo which is like these little cheese bread ball those will be the death of me because <laughs> i could literally eat those non-stop like yes. I don't the problem with me and those is I don't know when I'm done <laughs> I know nobody knows it's so addicting. <laughs> I never it. know when I'm done yeah you can have it with coffee uh, we should we should do a cooking video Jessica let's do it I need to know how you know what I want to use your recipe and bring that to Thanksgiving because my mom told me this year she's like we can't do the same meal for Thanksgiving and Christmas. She's like, we have more time to cook than ever because of COVID. It's gonna yep. be a small Thanksgiving. I agree. So she was like, let's mix it up. So I wanna do your recipe. How do I pronounce it though? Pão de queijo. Pão de queijo. Okay, okay. Pão de queijo. Okay, now it makes sense what it is. Yeah, it's like pão Okay, queijo. totally. Yeah. So I'm gonna start the skin with um, everything primer. I'm honest and I'm just gonna apply it directly. Yeah, I'll skin. do the same. So everything primer. And then on top of the primer, I like to do my I will Lose All Day Beauty Water. Just it tones, re-energizes the skin. You know what might be a good step to do? If you add the CCC, the Clean Corrective with Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer because it has the blue light defense. And oh. you know, we're exposed to skin damage. Maybe we're not outside as much. We've been Our inside phones. more. Our phones, the screens, your computer, your iPad, your television screen. So this is great because it just protects your skin even from the blue light damage that you can get from the screens. Okay, see you guys, you're learning something new. Okay, so I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna use the medium color. Actually, I'm gonna mix the light and medium. And it's forgiving, you don't have to be exact because it really is like a tinted moisturizer and it blends down. And this is perfect for going to the beach as well, going outside. Yeah, it has SPF 30. 
but yeah, it's great for indoors as well. So I did a, a thin layer of it all over and it has good coverage already. And then I'll come in with the cream foundation. And do you like to use this with a sponge or a brush, Jess? I use like a fluffy brush, but then sometimes I'll use like a beauty blender. It just kind of depends on the day. Yeah, right? And the beauty blender though, I'm actually gonna use the same in a darker color to do contour. And then I'll use the beauty blender for the contour part because it works wonders contouring with the beauty blender. It's just very smooth and soft. So I'm gonna use a brush as well. I love the coverage of this foundation, it's incredible. You could use your finger, you can use it like a concealer just where you want. You can use it on your whole face, you can layer it. It builds, but it's really a clean formula, so it's really nice. I wear it all day on set. It doesn't feel too heavy, but you get that good coverage. Having a clean brand now, I know how many limits how difficult we have, it is. right? And how difficult yeah. it is to create a product that it's clean, it's good for your skin, but it, it has works. quality and works, so. And that was like my biggest thing, is I wanted to have makeup with skincare benefits. So usually with makeup, your makeup dehydrates your skin. It can prematurely age you, depending on what the ingredients are. So people have to spend even more and more money on trying to reverse all the aging that their makeup is doing to them. But with our makeup, you don't have to do that. Oh. I love the skin. I did my eyes a bit heavy, you guys. Uh, so take this inspiration for like Thanksgiving, night outs. I mean, we're not really going out, but you know, day night with your loved one at home. <laughs> I actually, we did a bunch of day nights from home. When quarantine started, we're not going out. So we're like, okay, you know, how, what can we do? So I started every Friday, we will both dress up and maybe put like, a live concert on the TV and we'll listen to music. Oh, I love Why that. Not? And it was so fun. It was a great way to like keep the spice going. Now add three kids on top of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the contour right now with the beauty blender. So I dab the beauty blender in here and look at this, so good. And I'm gonna contour with the Java. I'm contouring with the Java as well. And I'm gonna go with like a flat foundation brush and just bring it into my cheek right here. I really, really would love for you to do my makeup because you're an actual makeup artist and Let's I'm not. Do it. And you're so good at makeup. You guys, should we do I that always video? am like a little bit shamed. I'm like, oh, your makeup's stop. so good. No, your makeup is incredible. Um, we should definitely do that video though. Guys, let us know if I should do Jessica's makeup. That would be so fun. And also comment with ideas like, what should I do on her? Because I, if I do your makeup, I want to do something different. So my skin is contour. I'm gonna do my Ella Luz lip and cheek stain, so I'm gonna apply that on my cheeks and on my lips. So I'm gonna do yours as well. And tell me like, why you wanted to do a stain. So this was actually our first product. We launched the lip and cheek stain. It's very universal and I wanted to launch with essential products, right? And I think for me, a lip and cheek stain has always been such an essential and uh, lips for me are everything. So I always use a lip stain under even like my lipstick, any lipstick color that I'm doing. Even if it's nude, I put lip stain under because when that lipstick comes off, I still have some color, right? And also for every day, like when it's just easy on the go, you can put it on your cheeks, have a little flush, which is just a little bit concealer and you're ready to go. Yeah, it blends really nice. I really like it. And it seems like you could even layer it a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely layer. So I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of the glossy lip treatment and just put that on top. I love that, how glossy that is, Jessica. It's so beautiful. So I'm taking just like a, a little brush and I'm just gonna go in where I want to take down my shine, but not put it all over my face. Yes, I'm gonna do the same. So I have the Honest Powder here. This is called Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Are you using the same one? Yeah. I'm gonna do it with a damp beauty blender and I concentrate it more under my eyes. Does that make it last longer? Yes. Always do loose powders, you guys. Like, I'm addicted to it. Um, it's something, I like to do my skin more glowing, right? Not so matte finish, but then I just finalize it with a loose powder so that it sets everything in. But then like after half an hour, it's still you're still gonna get that glow, but it's gonna be more long lasting. And my last step is gonna be a little bit of highlighter. So Jessica, you're an actor, you're a business woman, and you know, you have kids. 
They're all grown up, pretty much. I mean, not all of them. I have a two-year-old. I still <laughs> yeah, have, I a, two have year old. a two year old. <laughs> he's um, really not grown, this boy. I know, he's so cute. He's so cute. You know, I think of having kids. I have so much going on now, and I want to have kids, and I don't want to have just one kid. Hopefully, I'll have at least two. And I always want advice from, like, other women who are doing a lot of things, but also being able to be a great mom and be there for their kids. What is balancing family with work? At the end of the day, so many other people figured out how to do it. It wasn't an option for my mom or my dad to not work. They had to. Because I'd been working so hard for so long, I mean, literally from age 12, working pretty much full time until I was 26 when I got pregnant. That was the first time for me that I really allowed myself to stop and take in moments yeah. and to live in the present. And I guess my life priorities before were all career oriented. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that I had something else that was more important than like a career, you know? It really like fills your soul and your heart in such a different way than a career could ever. I love that. And I love how connected you are like with your kids and even like on social media and like doing the TikToks with them. And I just love it. It's such a big inspiration and you know how you're able to like manage and do so much in, in your professional life, but to be there for them. And even when I was over your house, you know, like seeing the connection you guys have, it was so beautiful. So I love that. Yeah, they are, they are all up in my business <laughs> all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I am pretty much done. Are yeah, you? Yeah, same. Talk to me about your last product. I already have it on, but I'm gonna put more. The Aloe Loose Dry Texture Finishing Spray. It's an essential my life texture sprays because my hair is naturally straight and it's very fine, super thin. So when I do curls uh, or any type of like, you know, texture, it, it doesn't stay. So I always need dry texture finishing spray to like give my, my hair texture and volume. This was our last launch from Aloe Loose and I'm so excited about it. The smell is delicious. We have this ombre packaging. It represents like the light of the sky. You know, as the light changes, the sky changes and mm. this represents like sunset. So yeah, you can apply it directly in your roots for volume and throughout like the end of the hair. Voluminous, sexy hair. I love the headband, so cute. Yeah, just like a little, a little touch. You guys, fall makeup with Jessica. She looks amazing and I have to say, for those who don't know, Jessica, maybe Jessica doesn't even know. She was like my girl crush when I was growing up. After I saw the movie, Honey, I was like obsessed over her. I wanted to dance like her. And now here I am Aww. doing a video with Jessica. So thank you for coming on my channel and showing your fall look to all of us. This truly, is so fun. I love yeah. all of your products Yay, and congratulations too. on launching them. I know how difficult it is to have an idea and create something, man. It's impossible. So uh, I'm so happy that you got to really have a dream and in creating these amazing essential items that you love and now you get to share them with the world. You are a big inspiration to me, uh, especially when it comes to you know, launching a brand and you know being a Latina and launching a clean brand, honest and you, like you guys were definitely have been an inspiration to me. So thank you and thank you for being here and we want to do more videos. So guys, comment down below if you do, we should do a cooking video, if we should do me, doing Jessica's makeup. What should that look like? Yes, we, know we should do all. ASMR too. Yes, I've never done one. We should do mukbang, that would be really fun. All right, thank you, Jessica. Thank you everyone for watching. All the products will be listed down below. Jessica's video again will be listed down below where we had our facial. And like and subscribe, I'll see you guys soon. Um beijo, thank you, Jessica. Um beijo. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>